to be young and foolish again. Oh, to be young and foolish. <laughs> Hello, y'all. I'm Diana Brianne. I don't give advice, suggestions, information, recommendations. I just share with you my perspective on different topics, as is with this one. I hope you like, share, subscribe. All channel links are pinned at the top of the comments section below. Oh, to be young and foolish again. So the other night, my husband and I were in a conversation and we were talking and I was talking about when we first met and I said, oh, only to be young and foolish again. Wouldn't it be wonderful to just be young and in love and uh, giddy and well, I'm still young and in love and giddy. And yet, uh, you know, I think when you're younger, sometimes you have a different zest for life. You have a different enthusiasm and because you haven't yet experienced a lot of things. And as we get older, a lot of people kind of get complacent. They've experienced things, they've traveled, they've done this, they've done that. And I love to be enthusiastic. I love to look at the bright side. And I think younger people often tend to look at the bright side regardless of what's really going on. And older people tend to look at all sides of things. And I like that too, because I think it's very important to look at all sides of things, not just the, the bright side side of things. And yet I believe in being positive. I believe in looking for the good. I believe in looking for the best to happen and yet being totally aware of everything that can be going on and to the best of my ability. And so I think, yeah, when you're young, you do have an enthusiasm that sometimes wanes as people get older. And so, like I said to my husband, I said, oh, to just be young and foolish again. <laughs> So just call me young and foolish from my house to yours. May God bless you. I hope you like, share, subscribe, and I hope to talk to you soon again. Bye-bye.